guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fossum Tujin and today we are back to guys with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, episode 4. Last episode uh, we had the fight between Saber and Berserker, mm -hmm. Hercules. Uh, it looks like his noble phantasm brings him back to life when he dies. So you can kill him! She showed her sword, so we'll see if anyone noticed, mm. but she managed to cut him in half almost and he, he, got, he right, was brought back from this. Archer had to step in, he switched his arrow, uh, he used some sort of sword, which was fucking powerful. It looks like Shido felt it, which is surprising, but yeah, that sword he sent, it, it did nothing to Berserker. Like, it's still around, it's still alive, and Iria left, but it piped Ilya's interest, so now she's no longer Ooh. interested in Saber, yeah. she's interested in Archer. And uh, after the big blast, Shido started coughing blood, so we need to take care of him. Uh, yeah. But this is where we are. Uh, a lot of uh, magic was shown last episode. Rin is a good fighter. Iria cannot be underestimated. But we need to take care of Shido and we need to see what we do next. A lot of questions. Yeah, a lot of questions. But this is where we are. So let's jump in this episode and see what happens next. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. Let's go! Stop talking like this! But she's intrigued now. It's her brother, so maybe? No, no, Girl, stop! I understand why, but stop! What have you been taught, girl? That her father left her for someone else. That he raised someone else instead of her. She feels betrayed. What Why did you fall in the first place? You were not hit. If we are now enemies, wait. But you're not his enemy. The 24 hours were not over. She'll always find an excuse. Always. No, no, dude. She'll kill you next time. <laughs> Killing in Ted. If my master is that weak, I'm gonna have to train you myself. I think it would be so cool to learn from Saber slash King Arthur. Mm -hmm. He's got some experience, like he's trained, but... I don't think he expected it either. I mean, he could have been hit by a flying whatever. We're in a partnership! You're gonna love him. He has so much honor. <laughs> so yeah, she gets to also wish. <laughs> she was robbed of that last time, but... <laughs> she's not robbed of that. その弱点を捌け出すことになります。聖杯に招かれたサーバントはクラスに応じて選ばれているのです。それが7つのクラス。聖馬、ランサー、アーチャー、ライダー、キャスター、アサシン、バーサーカーです。This is cool. <laughs> くわえて私たちには宝具がある。それに私の剣などが宝具に該当します。宝具の発動には相当な魔力量が必要と。Which <笑> Uh, yeah. Anyway, you can't really bring anything much, so... He understands. She's so ashamed. 
I trust his, I trust you. There's a lot of respect from him to her, like, and I mean, King Arthur is constantly putting herself in danger to protect others. Like she takes on their pain and keeps going. In a way, she's similar to Shiro. Shiro is doing a lot of, a lot of things similar to what she used to. But do. that would go against how she's used to doing things. Mm. So she would not want him to put himself in danger. He has a woman home. I wish I could have done this in high school, man. Archer? Oh, yeah. マスターってのは人目につくことを避けるんだろ。夢みたいなことはないって。<laughs> well, you don't know. Someone was willing enough to put a fucking like veil or whatever above the school. It's not everyone who really cares. Depends on what they know. Of course, there's a lot of masters in this school with their own servants. <laughs> they might be closer than you think. Yeah. <laughs> Shiro, who's that woman? A cousin. <laughs> Do you uh, feel she's, anything? She's an exchange student from UK, doesn't speak Japanese. クーフクでテンション高くて困ってたのよ。ビジネスの弁当ぐらい確認しとけよ。それが私も疲れててさ、信じのことか。新しい女でもできたんじゃない？表に立ちと何者よ。No <laughs> one. What woman? Rita. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Saber. She's following the I know she's. I know, but. You need to tell him before you leave like this. We could be surprised. Hmm. The fuck are you, man? Could be one. Yeah. He has the face. He seems mysterious. <laughs> Not subtle at all. あ、この子は俺の知り合いで見学に来たというか。初めてだな。入学すれば周りから注目される。知り合いなら気を使ってやれ。I don't know. It's a bit on the nose that he would be one. <laughs> Maybe he's acting all weird and mysterious, so we think he's one, but there was someone else around. I don't know. Kuzuki先生がどうかしたのか。初めは只物ではないと感じたのですが、彼は魔術師でもないし、只物じゃないってどういうことだよ。あまりに自然で整っていました。感心していたのです。教え子たちは安心ですね。<laughs> <laughs> She's making it all mysterious. She's like, he seemed more than he was. This must be nice to have such a great teacher. Moving on. <laughs> but there was definitely someone around that caught on interest. She said she was uh, tired, so I'm guessing maybe. Just like if she spent the whole night outside. He's a good archer. And, and somehow you ended up with Saber and Rin is uh, the one, yeah, stuck with Archer. I don't know, I'm, I don't like her much. If you knew what happened to me back then, I'm gonna be wary of everyone until we figure out who the other masters are. <laughs> she said she was tired. Do do. <laughs> Is the exam for your? <laughs> Did she tell him everything? Or is she just saying that as a way to dismiss it? <laughs> a girl living with you? Yeah, I mean, he's a young man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Technically, when Rin became a master, there was only two masters that we needed to to pick their servants, and he did not have his yet. Mm -hmm. That means she, if, having the mark, would already have hers. Yeah. And he just said that she was called Saber, so she would know everything now already. Now she knows. Now she knows. And she's acting so sweet despite it all. That's gonna break her heart. And I mean, <laughs> now she knows that she's gonna have to fight him. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but it depends. I, I don't really know, like, the attitude she's gonna have in this thing. She could be playing a game of pretending to be nice. But she, I know she truly cares about Shiro, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just afraid that all the trauma is gonna come back and change her somehow. 
そろそろ桜の見送り頼む。しばらくは桜ちゃんを送ってあげられないから。今日から私もここに泊まるから。オッケー。桜ちゃんもどう？もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。もう。も
Yeah, so it's definitely not something they were going to do. But unfortunately, that means that whenever Saber wants to re you know, get her strength back up or heal her wounds or whatever, she's going to need to sleep it off and, <laughs> and eat some food. Yeah. And it's going to be more natural than, than the other. So they are at a disadvantage. Mm. But I guess it helps that she's fucking strong. And I, I think Shido has a lot of potential. We just found out he can heal himself. Self-healing magic. So there's some something going on with him. There's definitely some magic in him, but somehow they can't sense it and somehow we can't access it. So he doesn't know how, but it's probably <laughs> there. It's All just right. like we need to discover it because it's going to be helpful later on. And he, he, I think he has the potential to be really badass. It's just mm -hmm. that everyone else has... Uh, you need to tell me to that advance. potential of his. And everyone else has been training for this, mm -hmm. so... Which brings uh, me to the other masters. Who do you think Caster is will be? Do you remember a woman who's being wronged by love? Got to I doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean I know who it is. Like there are so many potential heroes, and I don't know. Like ah, uh, if she's a woman, do you think it might be maybe Morgana from uh, Merlin? I don't remember the because story. she was a witch and she was wronged by Merlin. Maybe. But I don't want you to make guesses much because you're supposed no, to remember. No, no, no. Like I said, you don't I, know for sure. I don't know for sure. Like I think I, I recall who's the master of caster, but I don't remember the hero, the heroes and stuff. Like I really forgot a bunch of stuff. I could be surprised. I know in Zero there were so many heroes I had never heard about, mm -hmm. uh, and the others like. I could not guess who they were unless they, they told us. But I mean, Alexander we, the Great, I would never have known unless he told us. So wait, Does it look like Alexander the Great? No, but I mean, like, it's. I don't know if I know the hero, and if I do know the hero, I'll need more mm. uh, clues as to who uh, she is. Wait, wait. Did, you, did you say that you wouldn't have known Alexander the Great? Unless he told me he's Alexander the Great, because he, he was, like, the way he presented himself was generic. Like, ah, oh, he used okay. to be a great ruler. Okay, and... thank you, because I thought that you said that, oh, I did not know Alexander no, no, the no. Great name I before you told no, us. No, I, I knew the hero, but when you associate him to one of the servants, it doesn't mean it's easy to recognize. Okay, yeah. Like, even, like I said last episode with Hercules, if I did not know it was Hercules, I don't think I could have guessed... He was that, that based on what we saw. Of a man is there are too many potential uh, candidates. Mm -hmm. So from what we know, at least we know she's going to be dangerous. And her and her master are not above going after innocence to gain some strength. Mm. So we'll see. Still don't know who Sakura servant is going to be. But with Sakura, what I'm afraid of is that there's a whole side to her personality that we don't see. I, I think that she may be uh, faking it a bit. I don't think... No, because I don't want to say she's faking it. I think she's genuinely in love with Shiro. I think she is trying to, you know, be there for him and stuff. He was not a part of this war, and I don't think she can fake that much. But then again, I remember the trauma she went through when she was a child, and that does not go away. So I'm wondering if she maybe locked it up somewhere. She also met with Gilgamesh, so there's something there that happened. But we'll have to wait and see. I, I'm wondering if she locked up the trauma, and is there, like... A way like some d does it get loose sometimes like does she rem does she switch from one personality to the other like is there a part of her that's darker than what we see and if so when are we gonna see it and is it gonna hurt because <laughs> for sure like if she is i mean if she's playing us all and and she's pretending to be genuine when she when it comes to caring about others that's a really long game she's been playing mm -hmm. And we don't. We didn't. We were not supposed to know that Shiro was going to be a part of this, so there would be no point unless she truly cared about him. So I do think she cares about him for real. True. But, but then she again, does, she just learned that he's gonna is Saber's master because he's with well, for Saber. sure now she knows. Yeah, and she has she has the mark. We saw the mark on her hand, so I I know she's gonna be a master. But now she knows about Saber, and not only that, now she was invited to stay in the home <laughs> where they are. So it's going to be difficult oh, to plan. It's going to be difficult to be a part of this without anyone else noticing. Mm -hmm. And we will have to face her eventually. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt for sure. Either if she faces Rin, because she's her sister. Or if she faces Shiro, because they care about each other. 
And when it comes to the other masters, I am going to be suspicious of everyone. But the the girl who said, oh, I'm tired because, you know, uh, last night I didn't sleep much, all of that. That sounds suspicious, but that that's not enough for me to be like, that's a master. <laughs> but it's enough for me to be suspicious. Okay. But that the thing is, we got to remember the out of the masters that are left, there's at least two of them that are willing to hurt innocents. So that's not good. So that means, like, whoever we are going to suspect, that means we suspect them of being fucking assholes. What I mean? We know that Sakura is one. I'm suspecting Shinji to be one. Suspe yeah. I think that he might, he might be... <laughs> the, uh... the family who's disappearing <laughs> and uh, are no contenders to this end up having two masters in the yeah. same family. But they said that they're supposed to only be... only to have one master per family. I don't think it, it matters much. It's just that they will push one, like the mm. one that inherits the most magic, they'll push him. But the Mato family, like Sakura is not from their family per se. She's connected to them yeah. uh, b by blood, but still like she, like for example, she's a master and technically if she had not been raised by the Mato, she would be in the Tosaka family and you have two masters from the Tosakas. Mm. But I mean, the way that Lancer described it is, is master reminds me of what we saw of Shinji. I so think that's Shinji, what I think would, yeah. Shinji might be Lancer's uh, master, but I'm not sure. Like, I don't recall. So. Brutal enough to make moves, but cowardly enough to be like, ah, no, you know, stand back. Like I need to reassess. Like I need, like yeah. he's not good at, at thinking on his feet. So maybe, like, yeah, I, I could see if she, if Shinji ends up being a master, I could see him being with Lancer, mm. Sakura. But that means that Sakura would be either with. Uh, again, As assassin or Karsta or Ryder. Yeah, we haven't seen assassin and Ryder, so I don't know. And the only one who's actively hurting people that we know of right now is Caster, and Lancer was willing to do it. So Shinji would make a good guess. That means he would be willing to <laughs> hurt a lot of people, unless, yeah. like I said, it was a plot to get another master up to the roof to take care of it. <sighs> so many questions, so many possibilities. But uh, Shiro has a potential. He and Saber are a great team. Rin has conflicted feelings, which I'm definitely sure she's not going to fight Chido because she keeps trying to find a reason not to yeah. attack him. Uh, it's going to hurt when Sakura reveals herself as one of the masters, and I'm excited to see the other servants. Uh, when it comes to Shiro and Saber, I, I'll say it again, but they truly are similar when it comes to protecting others, putting themselves through pain and, mm -hmm. and going through the, the obstacles to carry on people's dreams and hopes and, yeah. and help as many people as possible. We do know that some people found a problem when it comes to that mentality with uh, Arch or with King Arthur. Like, you put yourself through hell and we would want to be there for you. We would want to help you out and you, you don't... You don't allow us to be there for you. Yeah, you don't... You, they, it's like she rejects their help in order to carry it herself, but she's trying to protect everyone. It's just the way she does it tells them that they're not strong enough or that she doesn't value them enough like we know that some of the people that followed her started rejecting her a little bit because but of that I mean, mentality the main problem with Lancelot was all of that to begin with yeah, yeah. but with Shiro I guess it's kind of nice maybe to have a guy who also wants to selflessly I mean it could be it would be frustrating because it goes against how she did things so she wants to be the one fighting she wants to be the one protecting others and now he's putting himself in danger he's not really listening to her advice <laughs> he's uh, no, yeah no, no. so she'd be frustrated with that but also when it comes to trusting her with the, the stuff that she understands best and not making her doubt herself, not making it sound like, oh, you're making decisions for us and you don't value us. The stuff that she learned from the fight with Lancelot, the trauma that came from that, she doesn't have that with Shiro. He's completely fine with letting her do what she thinks is best. He will put himself in danger because his own <laughs> drive to protect people is yeah, there. Yeah, but he trusts her enough to know what she's doing and to do what she's yeah. best at. So he's a good mix. Like, he... he resembles her in a lot of ways and he also represents the way she would have wished her followers were back in the day so don't give her guilt for wanting to do things herself like don't give her guilt for not doing the job of a servant correctly because she'd rather take charge in this way because it's better for her mm -hmm. they do make a good team it's a great you know duo 
And I All like right. it. <laughs> Good. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching it with us. If you want to see the next two episodes right away, they are on Patreon already. You can check them out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't want to, the next one will be on YouTube next week. Yes. So see you then, guys. Bye.